Hello, this is Dr. Chobsey, and welcome back to another edition of Beginner's Biology, where I'm aiming to bring you basic biology content, either as a study aid or for general information. Following on from my introduction to DNA, this video is going to cover transcription and translation, the stages that a section of DNA goes through to produce a protein. We will start off with briefly describing what these processes are before looking at them in a bit more detail. As I mentioned, these processes are the stages that a DNA gene goes through to produce a protein. Transcription involves copying the DNA sequence into a closely related RNA sequence. This molecule is a single strand of nucleic acid that has a short lifespan, a slightly modified backbone structure, and a base called uracil instead of thymine. The base sequence ends up the same and the process can be likened to making a photocopy or copying from a textbook. Translation is the process where the RNA sequence produced in transcription is converted into an amino acid sequence. Here, the RNA sequence is essentially translated from a nucleic acid molecular chain into an amino acid based molecular chain. Whilst this may sound complicated, it is essentially like translating words in a sentence from one language into another. And now to how these processes work, starting with transcription, where we will use this section of DNA as an example sequence. In this sequence, the top strand will contain the gene that we want to transcribe. The process starts when a section of DNA containing the gene is unwound and an enzyme called RNA polymerase binds to the DNA strand at a point slightly outside of the gene called a promoter. RNA polymerase will split the double-stranded DNA in a short section and use the DNA strand opposite the gene as a template to copy the DNA sequence using the same base pairing matchup that DNA uses, but using the uracil base instead of thymine to pair with adenine, and using RNA nucleotides to create an RNA strand that has the same sequence as the DNA strand with the gene that we want to copy. As it travels past the sections that it has copied, the RNA polymerase reforms the bonds between the DNA strands, keeping the original DNA molecule intact. This process could be likened to undoing and redoing a zip in a piece of clothing. The enzyme continues to work its way down the DNA molecule until it reaches a point called the terminator, where it then stops making the RNA strand, seals the DNA back together, and then leaves, leaving the end product, which is the RNA copy of the desired section of DNA, which contains the gene. This whole process is located in the nucleus in eukaryotic cells, or in the nucleoid in prokaryotic cells and the RNA strand leaves here and moves to the cytoplasm to undergo translation, where it is converted into an amino acid sequence, which is the primary structure of proteins. Translation begins when the RNA strand enters the cytoplasm from the nucleus or nucleoid and attaches to a ribosome. This ribosome will then either remain in the cytoplasm in prokaryotic cells or move and attach to the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum in eukaryotic cells. From here, the RNA passes through the ribosome. The ribosomes contain other molecules of RNA that have an amino acid molecule associated with them. These molecules will bind to the RNA strand using three bases that complement the order of the bases on the strand. Each of these three bases will relate to one RNA amino acid combination molecule and typically begins with the sequence AUG. Once the first amino acid is in place, the RNA strand moves further through the ribosome allowing for a second molecule to attach to it using the next three bases in the sequence, bringing with it a second amino acid, which is then joined to the first amino acid. This process continues until the ribosome comes to a set of three bases that will tell it to stop adding a new amino acid to the chain, which can be one of three sets of bases, UAA, UAG, or UGA. After it is finished, the amino acid strand is released into the cytoplasm or endoplasmic reticulum to be folded into the functional protein, whilst the RNA strand is degraded in the cytoplasm. And that's the end of this look into these processes. Thank you for watching. If this video has been useful for you in any way, then please leave a like and perhaps subscribe to the channel to see more of these videos when they come out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll hopefully see you next time.